Hello traders, uh, the title of the video is uh, Elio with uh, Trader versus Gold. All right, I'm using uh, a trading view. An Elio with Trader was uh, saying to me, George, you have to check out uh, that uh, trading view. You have to check out that trading view. Okay, I have subscribed to trading view. I'm using it for now. I may cancel my subscription in the future if I don't like it. But we will see what will happen, all right? So I'm using it for gold, so right, because uh, uh, we have gold here on trading view. The information that I have on uh, the data that I have uh, with TC2000 regarding gold is only this session here going down and this. So I only have half of that data. For the trading view, we do not have the yearly chart, which is bad for any wave analysis. We want to see the yearly chart. Or tell me how do we see the yearly chart? All right. So if you are using a trading view, you can send email to them and ask them that uh, we want to see okay the yearly chart. I will do the same thing and then okay we put them under pressure to give us the yearly chart. Okay. Any way trader versus gold. So this is my first way from here. All the way up there, that's the first wave on the monthly chart. A second wave right there. From in 2008, we have uh, the second wave. All right, the commodity boom started in 2003, so gold was benefiting from that. If that created the first wave, 2008 financial crisis uh, has started, gold pulled back a bit before going up. So, the third wave from here all the way up here. Feel free to disagree with my wave count, all right, that's okay. And your wave trader do disagree quite often. So some trader may say the third wave is up here. Now, the problem that we face here, because I don't have the yearly chart, I cannot argue too much about it, because if we had the yearly chart, I can say clearly that it's definitely here. But this, because sometimes on the monthly chart, one will think that the third wave has ended here, but it's not, all right. And then when you go to the yearly chart, we see that shadow on top of the yearly candlestick bar alerting us that the third wave did not end here, but somewhere before that. That's why I'm a bit careful calling this one the third wave. Then we have this shallow fourth wave, and then this is the fifth wave. Now after that, we have a flat correction. This is the A part of the flat correction. This is the B part of the flat correction. And this is the C wave of the flat correction. All right. Ignore this A and X. I'll talk about that later. So, training fair that has started in 2003 has ended, uh, okay, in 2011. All right, forming one, two, three, four, five way. After that, we have a flat correction. Normally, one, two, three, one, two, three. A bit messy here, and this is the C wave of the flat correction bringing the price here. Gold, after the training fairs, has pulled back to where. The sweet spot Fibonacci trading zone. So, for those of you who are very new to Fibonacci trading, go to www.dayprotrade.com and check out sweet spot Fibonacci trading zone. Years ago, all right, a professional trader told me here that gold, you see, when it pulled back here, gold has a high chance to go up for years and that the dollar will be going down big time. Many currency will be going down. Why? Because you see here, gold went up when it formed the first wave. This pullback also brought the price into the sweet spot zone of the first wave. And he was predicting the third wave of gold. He was correct, accurate. <laughs> and the dollar went down, blah, 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 blah. You see here? That's it. And now, after gold has completed that training first, now it pulled back to the sweet spot zone of the mall from here. To here so the line that you are looking at here this zone here at roughly in the zone of 1038 that's the 61.8 percent Fibonacci retracement of the prior trend talking about this trend and the level of uh, 1184 in that zone is the 50 percent Fibonacci retracement level of that prior trend so the zone here it's the sweet spot zone, so price that the trading fire pull back to the sweet spot zone. You can see the surge in trading volume here. 
You want me to remove my Fibonacci? I'll remove it. I think I'm doing the right thing, you know? All right, hold on, please. You see the surge in trading volume here? When we have a surge, too much trading activity, all right? It slowed down the price. This, that's why the price is consolidating here now. All right? Slow down. So the first surge in trading volume is due to the sellers. Those were selling gold down. They were selling it big time. All right? They were selling it. <laughs> that time, when the S&P 500 was in the third wave. Well, third wave we higher degree, remember? We're still in the third wave of higher degree from in the fourth wave now for the S&P founders. So they were selling gold. <laughs> Big time. Money was coming out of the commodity market into the stock market. All right? So that's the first surge. And as the price was reaching the sweet spot zone, there were barriers. So the second surge is due to the barriers. So that surge in trading activity is not only the activity of the buyers, but it's the combined activity of both the buyers and the sellers. And it slowed down the price. The price start consolidating. Too much trading volume can slow down the price. But the, we will see a surge in trading volume, okay, quite often, all right, at the price level where there is a value. And in a sweet exposure, there is a value. So there are crazy Fibonacci traders that always buy at the sweet spot zone. This is their trading method. So there was a trading fire, try to pull back to the sweet spot zone, those people will come and buy. They don't look for any other reason. They don't ask any more questions. They don't buy. They just buy. And they are here. They bought it somewhere here. We will see. So what should we say to any other traders? So we have a, a multi-way completed. A flat correction completed, we can label that flat correction a W. Or as an earlier way trader, we can call that W. So we can see to trade, there's a possibility that we may see, because everybody will now be thinking that because the goal has reached a sweet spot zone as it did here, there's a high chance I start trending again, forming maybe, maybe. The third wave of a higher degree. So they will say, oh, this one, two, three, four, five is the first wave of a higher degree. And this flat correction that you are calling a W is the second wave of a higher degree. We are expecting now for gold to enter the third wave of a higher degree. But that third wave of a higher degree that they are expecting can fail. Uh, if that happens, which I think will happen, will form the X wave. X wave. Not this X here. I will talk about this X later on. This one, X somewhere here. A trend in film, that has failed. And if that happen, I'm choosing my world very carefully. I'm speaking to new traders so they don't take my world for it. So if that happen, we expect another pullback creating the flag correction that already happened, calling it W, the expected trend, is it going to happen? It may, it may not, okay? If it happens and it fails, we call it X. It can continue and go up more, but if it fails, we call it X. And if that the trend line of that S fail, we we'll expect another move down for me, the Y. Then we'll come back here again, talking about trending fail, WSY wave and will be monitoring the reaction of price at the end of the, the Y. Is it going to form another X before seeing another impulse wave? Those are the questions we need to take into consideration as an earlier way trader. But I also mentioned to trader when I was talking about how to combine earlier way trading and Fibonacci trading. When we see a trending phase like this and the price pull back to the switch position. There is another group of market participants that are also making decisions. And those traders will be talking about Fibonacci pattern. Let me remove some of my... Uh, uh, letters on the chart so you don't get... I'll remove them all. That's not exactly what I want to do. <laughs> I'll get used to this soon. So there is another group of uh, market participants. Those are Fibonacci traders. So they will be labeling this point X, and they will be labeling this session here E. 
for alpha one and then there will be a spent in a price to rally up a bit to a point called B, B for Bravo. Alright, and then we will expect again the price to pull back forming uh, the point C. Is he going to do that? Maybe. Alright, maybe. Probability. All right? And then the price to go up one more time to a point we call D for Delta. So apart from the area wave forecast, once you go into the mind of the Fibonacci trader, that will be expecting either a gap lay pattern, a back pattern, a butterfly pattern, and a crop pattern. One cannot pretend to be a fully fledged area wave trader if one does not understand the Fibonacci pattern, and most importantly, how to combine Fibonacci trading and area wave trading. They work together, all together. So you can see clearly, instead of seeing partially, you want to see it clearly, all right? <laughs> Are you with me now? So this, you see, this point, they will call it the Fibonacci trade, we call it X, they will call it point A. At this junction, probably they are calling this one already B. But in my view, the B is not yet in place. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Is that C here? All right. If the price from this is just going up from here, going up, what is the first level we should watch for D? That level is here. It's what? Fibonacci retracement of SA. Which level? For the Gatley pattern, the target for the D, is at a 78.6% Fibonacci retracement of SA. That level is at 1597. 1597, that will be the first Fibonacci target at point D, 78.6% Fibonacci retracement of X to A. Correct? That's it. If it breaks above that level, the Fibonacci trader will be thinking of the bad pattern They'll be watching a level of 88.6% Fibonacci a retracement of SA. That level, roughly, 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 because I don't have your chart, I'm just roughly, roughly, will be at 1699, somewhere in that zone, 1699. It if it's not a bad pattern, they will start thinking of what? Butterfly pattern. All right, and crap pattern. So one will highlight, okay, the one three eight point two percent and the one six one point eight percent Fibonacci extension level, all right, of uh, AX because we're going this direction up. So it's not SA anymore because if you talk about SA extension, will be down here. So that will be one should highlight, okay. You put it upside down, okay. One three eight point two percent and one six one point eight percent Fibonacci extension of A X, not X A. All right. Now, for those who are more experienced trader, they know what I'm talking about. New trader may be wondering what is he talking about. All right. Okay. So. Those are the things that are coming to our mind. So we see a trending fair, we see a correction that brings the price to the sweet spot zone. What are the scenarios that can occur? So this is about the expectation. There are many, there are few possibilities. That's what I'm discussing now. But those are possibilities that we call forecasts. Once we have done our forecast, which means we look at the different scenarios that can occur, we put them aside. The next thing that we do, we concentrate on the price action and we trade around key level, okay, making excellent decisions. Right. So those are my forecasts. So we may we are likely to see okay another bounce up, okay. Forming X and then Y, that's one scenario, W S Y way, or 
We may see a Fibonacci pattern, either a godly pattern, a bad pattern, a crab pattern, or butterfly pattern. Another scenario may be that the prime after may consolidate here for a while. So if a consolidation is taking place, this is about paying attention to the price, okay? So if a consolidation is taking place, we draw a line. So I draw one already there. Can we send a call out that? Visual order three old. I'm getting used to this. I'm just using uh, trading view today. I start using it today. So don't laugh, please don't laugh. Okay. I'm just learning now. So so, so there is a consolidation you can see uh, between a level of one three four five and a one one five four. So you see that consolidation is going on now. So people are buying near the level of one one five four and they are taking profit at one three four five. There is a midpoint target, roughly, 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 in the zone of one, two, four, seven. Roughly, 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 one, two, four, seven. That's all. All right? So this is what we have now. So same thing like for a triangle, all right? I'll get used to this chart in software soon. Let's see if I can draw my beautiful triangle. It looks like a triangle, isn't it? Okay, I'm getting there, I'm getting there. So it looks like a triangle now, yes or no? It looks like a triangle, yes or no? Okay, I'm going to use a conservative measurement here. So, so here it is, all right? Anything is possible, you can break above the consolidation. You remember the horizontal consolidation, the level of 1345, and also it can break below 1154. As we said before, now we have that triangle. If it breaks above it and finds support, prior to bullish signal, if it breaks below it and finds resistance, prior to bearish signal, as we did for the SP 500. Right, so, those are the scenarios that can occur, and as I mentioned to you now, we have done our forecast. We have look at different scenario. Now what we need to do is to concentrate on the price action. As I said also before, anytime you draw a triangle, you can draw a media line on that triangle and extend it. Yeah, it is. That's, I can extend it. Can I extend it? Yes, you can. Now we leave it there. All right. Remember also the. the the height of the triangle. Okay, if you break a ball here, you can project it like this to set a target. All right. I, I don't want the video to be too long, so that's why. Uh, because I don't. I'm just start using this software now, so I don't. If I want to do everything properly as I do with a TC2000, that can be time consuming, so uh, that's why I'm a little bit uh, in a hurry right now. Uh, to go fast, okay. And if you go below it, you break below somewhere here, you draw the line, and uh, you put also a target somewhere there. So one five eight six, and that for the bullish first target, and the second target uh, for bearish uh, nine three seven. Apart from those targets that I just mentioned to you, do not forget the Gartley pattern at seventy eight point six percent. The, the bad pattern target point D at 88.6 percent Fibonacci as uh, retracement retracement level of XA and also the target for the butterfly and the crop pattern at 138.2 percent and 161.8 percent Fibonacci extension level of A X. All right. So all in all, gold has enjoyed a very bullish. Trend. Now it has corrected a bullish trend to the sweet spot zone. Generally, people will expect a new trend. That trend can fail, forming the X wave, or we may see instead of X, we may see a Fibonacci pattern. Right? The Fibonacci pattern can even bring the price above this high here. In the case of the butterfly pattern or uh, the crowd pattern, and then the price, then gold will start going down. As we are talking about the S&P 500, we are trading first the market. The S&P 500, we are expecting 
uh, the fourth way to be completed in an orderly manner. Hopefully, it will be in an orderly manner because they are putting a lot of pressure on the Federal Reserve, blah, blah, blah. If the mercy rapting can be given, now if you have an orderly fourth way of a higher degree for S&P 500, during that time, gold should be going now because money will be coming out of the stock market into gold. Okay, people will be protecting their assets by buying gold. So gold should be going now, either forming, uh, okay, the point B or something may go all the way to 78.6% forming the point B and then before pulling back to form the point C and then rushing again one more time to form the point D. Whichever scenario, it does not matter. We don't want to guess it. You have the triangle there, you have the horizontal channel. Now concentrate on the price, all right? And don't just guess it and cross your fingers. Look for trading setup, okay, around key level and trade on the edge like a pro. So I'm going to put on my chart now a pitchfork tool that determines the possible path that the price has taken before. So I put it at the beginning there, and then we can do it like this, all right? I'm a bit under time pressure to, to wrap it up. So that's pitch for QC. This is the media line of the lower half of the pitch for two. Okay, so we can, you can do that on your chart. Another way you can do also, here we are going fast. Okay. Is that too much blah, 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 blah. They say, Joe, you love to talk. I say, what's the mouth for? The mouth is for talking. <laughs> now this to make you laugh a bit. Okay. You, know, you can put it also like this. If you put it like this, you can see that that pitch for two is not very useful to us. But it was useful before, you see, the price pulled back to retest the media line of the upper half of that decline pitch for two before sprinting out of it. See that? That's the media line of the upper half of the pitch for two, that green line there. And now, let's put it like this. Now, you can see that recently, it pulled back again to retest the media line of that upper half of the P42, so this is the upper half of the P42, this is the lower half of the P42, and this green line here, that's the media line of the lower half of the P42, that green line here, that's the media line of the upper half of the P42. So recently, the prior retail pulled back to retail that media line. Now you see, as we start concentrating on the prior thing, things are becoming clearer now. So put that P42 on your chart, the top right there, and this one here, and this one here, I'm on a monthly chart, do exactly the same thing, and leave you on the chart. Now, it's escaping that uh, trajectory, that, uh, okay, pitch for two, because it's the path that is supposed to go down, but it's now escaping it. It's your own chart, as I said before, you can continue to draw as many pitch for two on it, and as I said before, if anyone challenge you and say, why are you drawing so many pitch for two on your chart. You just look at them in the first and say to them, well, can I draw on my chart as I feel like? And they will say, well, 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 yeah, I think so. They say, well, now, so what's your problem then? <laughs> now, in a friendly manner, okay? So nothing should stop you to play with the pitch for two like this, all right? To see exactly what's happening, all right? So this one is not very useful to me now. You see uh, this one, uh, I put it here, so it came out of it, and it tested it on the edge there. Wow, look at it, <laughs> on the angle there, and it come back now, at least for this to retest the media. You see, the advantage of using pitch for two, it will help you to see, okay, now what we, what we can do is this one now. Look at this one. Okay, so from here, it went up, you see, then he pull back almost to the starting point. We don't usually like this, but just leave it like this if that can be useful to you. Uh, if it's too much for you, after you check it out, uh, you may want to leave it on your chart like this because you see the triangle, okay, the horizontal channel, and leave that one there. But I think I will remove that one for now. Okay. So those are the things that you need to do now. The price is consolidating in a triangle and also in a horizontal channel, as I mentioned to you, it's a consolidation in play. People are buying here and they want to buy, take profit at the media line and also at the ultimate target, which is the top of the consolidation. Possibility for breakout above that resist, that uh, top of the consolidation or the triangle, can break above the triangle or the top of the consolidation, or possibility that it may break below it. Anything is possible. Now that we have done our forecast, looking at the various scenarios, 
in order to get paid as an Indian way trader or Fibonacci trader, one must trade on the edge. You are looking for a trading setup around a key level. If, like this one here, this was a bullish trading setup, a common setup like that, broken, right? The prior war is testing, you see, the median line of the upper how the pitfall too. That was a bullish setup. It was forming also a double bottom here. Can you see here? This low and this low is a double bottom. Now, that was a bullish trading setup. Traders that were buying here that monthly were using a different time frame trading method to buy monthly chart, daily chart, okay, hourly time frame to buy. That's why the price is going up. Price going up, price looking for better support level, the key level, the resistance ahead. So though this is how you want to trade it. So you have all the scenario in your head, you are expecting something, don't trade like the old fashioned in your way traders. Take control and make decisions, trading like a pro. So this will conclude our discussion today about uh, Indian Way Trader versus Gold. If this video has been truly, truly useful to you, please let us know by giving us the thumbs up. If you dislike it, mark it down. If you think it's an essential tutorial that can help other Indian Way Traders, feel free to share with your friend on Google Plus, on Twitter, and also on our Facebook. If you have not yet subscribed to our channel, please subscribe to our channel today. It is free. All right, our channel is 24 in your waves All right, subscribe and be sure to click on the notification bell so anytime we are about to live a stream a pre-recorded tutorial you will be the first person to be notified until the next time enjoy yourself and be very happy we are the tsdw 24 traders talking about area way trader versus gold Trader have been asking me join please uh, analyze gold please analyze gold please analyze gold now I have done it and I feel free. Thank you for watching.